A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Move with compassion, the master of that servant let him go, and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave your entire debt because you begged me to. Should you not have pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you? Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you, unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord A Huge Amount The first servant's debt to his master is in the Greek original, Murion Talanton, 10,000 Talents. The psalm is clearly meant to stand for an incredibly huge amount. In modern terms, it has been likened to the national debt of a country falling upon a single citizen. The parable tells us that by our sins, we owe God an infinite measure. In turn, what God asks of us is to forgive others' small debts to us not seven times, but always. This kind of forgiveness, which must come from our heart, is possible only by God's grace and power working in us and forgiving our own transgressions.